This video is going to be about a GIF animation maker that I've found. Uh, it's by a company called Sciotech, and I'll put all the information in the uh, description on the video. And uh, it is an interesting uh, piece of software. This, uh, I've used loads over the years, but this one has uh, slight differences. It's also free it's because maybe it's in beta version, although donations are welcome. Um, and you can there's two ways to use gif animations you can get uh, get source from a video or you can do it by making up your own image uh, from your own images so what we're going to do here is this is what hap uh, what you see when you you load sciotex uh, animation maker up so we're going to uh, go to get some um uh, images ourselves so we're going here and uh, we'll put uh, this one here and we just do that so there's your first image and another thing that you can actually do with this is you can um, have another image another GIF animation going on at the same time so it's not just uh, one image uh, one animation at a time you can have a few different ones going on at the same time if that's what you want anyway we're going to concentrate on this one here and just try to build this up and it's very easy to do you can just add add frame by just right clicking and getting another one um try to keep your images the same size these are 120 128 by 128 and uh, you can also go into project and add frame by that way and you can also duplicate frame as well by going into project uh there we are there you could do it that way by and you could duplicate another frame if that's what you want and sometimes that's that's vital to build up your animations uh but we're not going to do that on this one we're just going to go and do a basic animation and um so what we're going to do is we're going to just have them three going on and down here is the animation and frame if you can see that there i'll just zoom in a little bit animation and frame and we see the animation so here we go the duration time of the animation um i would like it uh somewhere around 500 so i'll put in 500 you can have yours wherever you like um and also if we go to animation the looping is we're going to loop this four times you can also have infinite looping there, uh, but you can, uh, this is just a demonstration to see where it is. You can also see a preview here uh, by playing it. And there it is, it's away. And stopping, and you also have your, um, your last frames, your first frames, and all that type of thing there. Um, other things as effects, uh, you can have text or watermarks, um tools uh, and create uh, there's a sprite sheet css thing that uh, they also do um but and also comment uh, on a frame or you can say this this is my first uh gif animation um and also as you as you're working in that one you can go to the another one and you can also add a frame in there and you can keep doing that so it's uh anim uh, gif animations are not going to die it doesn't matter where anybody says the uh the here and the um everybody loves them even though people say they don't they're just pretending anyway so we do this we just go file save as and we put in i'm going to just put this on the desktop for demonstration only uh first first gif or GIF, however you pronounce it. So you just do that, and uh, there we go. So I'll just um, put in a. I'll just put this and see what it looks like on um, on the on a in a browser. So I'll just put uh, my HTML editor up, and I hope this loads quick. Uh, when it's in video mode, it sometimes takes a while. Uh, just to see how, how that's going to look. 
Um, so we just blank page open. So we just put this in here and we go to uh, insert image. I'll go to desktop where it is. First GIF. And you see that it's only uh, 6.69 kilobytes, which is is neither here nor there. When you're doing GIF animations, don't make them big. Uh, they just don't, when you put it on the browser, it just looks stupid when it's big. The compression's not great on GIF animations, which is why people have always tried to uh, come away from them. Um, and there we have it. This is what it looks like, and that's that, uh, that's good. So, um, Sciotex, there's a lot worse programs out there for a lot lot more money, and uh, I've used quite a few of these things. So, it's definitely worth a look, and uh, I'll put all the information down there. So, thanks for watching, and thanks for listening.